aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up you guys and of course welcome to the video from your truly Descarinder and today's video we're actually just gonna go over a few thoughts I have about of course the new Ultra Beast Pokemon which of course got revealed pretty much a month ago with the first being of course the Manet UB1 being introduced which is really really cool I actually really like the design on them and then of course not too long ago of course Cerebi showcased two new forms which only got Pokemon or got people to wonder more whether or not these are, well, Pokemon or not. And um, that's the thing. I think this is the first time we actually are, or, or I really hope Game Freak, of course, are starting to develop something larger than they were before. That is, of course, creating, well, boss monsters. Um, before we really go into more into this theory, I should say this. This is so fresh when it comes to, you know, and uh, the Pokemon themselves, or the monsters and so, I guess, or beasts. But, um, I do believe this theory will be redundant once the truth has been revealed, but for the time being, it, it's just fun groundwork, and I won't really use trailers in this video, because I really don't want to worry about getting copyrights right, because Nintendo have a tendency to um, not liking people using their trailers, and, um, I guess I'll respect that. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll take that route. But yeah, what is kind of worth saying here about Ultra Beast is that they've been showcased as monsters, like really, 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 really monsters. And I think that's rather cool because they're definitely pointing out, of course, that the two Ultra Beasts being, of course, UB, the UB2 versions uh, are the ones that are threatening the low level region. They're definitely pointing it out like that, so I'm pretty sure that really early in the game they're going to showcase one of these monsters, depending of course the game, because they're separated by game of Sun Cyber. Which is really just building up for it, it seems extremely likely. And um, they're definitely going back to, of course, the um, Ephraim um, Foundation, will of course be in the white people, basically. I was gonna say it sounds like a race, but I really don't mean it like that, but I mean like they are the people that have been showcased as, um, well, basically heavy alchemy and it seems you know they are they're the savior of the world it's it's quite a stretch but uh, I feel like that's the idea and um, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Ether Foundation are the, actually the people behind these monsters um, I think they're using these monsters to keep them in check obviously you be I do believe it's called beauty look a lot like Lusamine um, which of course is the beautiful person of the foundation. But then we have like a guy named FIBA, which looks really strange. It's, it's supposed to be like, he used a lot of green, which makes me believe that there are going to be a green variant too. And then of course, uh, Wicca, which is an assistant branch chief of the Ether Veteran Nation, which I believe is the um, expansion version, or at least the avatar of it. Now, it's, it's a very big stretch. People have been looking like, uh, to uh, the Enforcer, of course, in the Skull Team, to be that guy. But I think if they're gonna take that route, they're definitely... Uh, it would make sense of them using avatars to of themselves as monsters to keep the world in check, because I do believe the Alolan region is gonna be a lot of spiritual um, adventure, of course, um, with uh, Guardian monsters and stuff like that, to uh, some kind of rites of passage. And I think that's what I'm going for. They're going for that, you know, alchemy versus nature. And Ultra Beast seems to be the very monsters that are scaring people. They're, they're definitely building up as scaring people. And they're supposed to, I guess, I believe, keeping Pokemons and people in check and not go out of their way. And um, I, I, yeah, I think that's what they're going with. Uh, what kind of is not, not bothersome, that would be the wrong word, but... It is where do Sol Galeo and Lunala fits in this? Like I've been, you know, thinking about that because they are definitely they are on the cover of the game. They are probably the one that are going to be divisive or be in the change of the world, uh, being that of course they stand for you know until light and until dawn kind of Pokemon, of course, of the, what they're based on, which means you know before the world ends, these are the beasts that's going to change <laughs> or change, you know, change things. You know, so I kind of have that in my mind that they have to be the reasons for it, basically. And it, it, I don't know. 
Um, I hope they're building it to something like that, but it's still just speculative. And of course, I do believe that person was showcased in the beginning, which everybody thought looked like the Ubi One person. Uh, let's see if I can remember her name. The girl with the hat, basically. Uh, damn, I'm feeling really stupid right now. Um, why can't I remember? Uh, but anyway, that girl seems to look like, uh, of course, that person, basically. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. I think um, she looks she looks the part, but um, without any kind of confirmation, of course, it basically is. It's a stretch, basically. It really is a stretch. In UB1, which is, of course, the one that looks like a, jelly, a jellyfish, is uh, the one that I think is the most interesting, because at least with the trailer, the showcase of UB2, well, or Ultra Beast 2, were um, aggressive. They were... Um, Tapu Koko, I do believe it's called, was defending it, defending its uh, its leader basically. So I'm having a feeling that UB2 or UB1 is not showcased like that for a reason, and it's very likely it is because it's a probably a neutral money and doesn't have any possible agenda, or it just is that person. Like, um, I mean, if you remember from this, what they've been showcased with, of course, the anime. I, I'm not following the anime. But they're definitely be expanding upon the game, of course, Ash Greninja, basically. And while I think the concept is really, really, really flawed, I kind of wouldn't be against it if it turned out to be that it turned out to beasts. And like I said, I think these mon these monsters or beasts, damn, I, I'm gonna like reprieve myself with that, are uncatchable monsters. Uh, I'm fairly sure these are boss monsters throughout the game, and uh, will probably like Team Skull and Team Ether will also be possible monsters, or I was going to say monster boss battles, but Ultra Beasts are in the end the threat themselves, and I want to see how they try to develop that, because until this game, there are no game over screen in Pokemon. If you lose a game, you're sent back to Focus Center, right? I think they kind of have to go out of their way and not do it here, because if there are store elements, and I think there are a big fight, I really, really, really want a hard battle that are have, have ramifications that you actually get a game over screen. But though it's very unlikely since you know it's Pokemon after all. But this is definitely a branch they can build upon. Um, so that that is my theory at least that these are bo boss monsters. I do believe there are associated with Ether Foundation in a way that there are their fight with these kind of monsters as a avatar of themselves rather than using their own Pokemon. Of course, we said. That they used Hypno and Starmie, but that's about it. That's really about it. And I think this game is going to develop into, you know, alchemy versus nature. And um, while that concept could, you know, it's been repeated for to death, it still, I believe, with Pokemon could be done right. It's a very, very tough process, but I think if anything, if anyone can do it right, it would be Pokemon, since, of course, without adaptation. Adaptation. Uh, you can't speak uh, the, um, the adaptations from the Pokemon. I do believe they're showcasing that they can actually exist in another nature and become something else, and that is probably what they're going with. And I'm, I'm, I'm really like that idea. And we are gonna see other Ultra Beasts too. I'm really sure about that. I don't think Ultra Beasts two, um, the two version of it, are as menacing as the things they're gonna show. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to least like two more of something else, and they're going to definitely be something really big. That uh, well, let's just hope that since they aren't naming them, that they are Pokémon that are uncatchable and just are boss monsters for this individual game. If they could get a name, they really could get a name. To be completely honest, because they actually do say like this. Um, they say that every Ultra Beast is a code name. Uh, they're just calling them by that. So it's also extremely likely that we as a player, if that's the case, are going to turn them into Pokemon, but we as a player are the ones that seduce them and get them registered and probably give them a proper name, though obviously Game Freak already have a name in mind, but you know, they're going to give us a chance of these are undiscovered mods. That's also development. But yeah, those are my thoughts, and obviously, like I said, it's a still image. Wonderful. But I hope you liked these ideas I'm kind of just spewing out. And as I said, once the truth is real, revealed from Pokemon themselves or Game Freak, 
this video is going to be extremely redundant. We probably can look back at it and just laugh at it. Or I might be right. Anyway, anyway I see it. I think if we're going to do this just right. I, I really like how this game is developing. I'm really looking forward. We are like two months away from the game. It's so it's so cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of thought process. And if you have your own thoughts, please share them. I really want to know, and I actually kind of want to juggle ideas on what this thing possibly could be. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.